Okay, so there were a bunch of van life hippies in Germany in the early 1900s, and they basically all became Nazis. The youth movement was called the Wandervogel, uh, which translates basically to wandering free spirits. It was basically just a bunch of young German people in the 1910s and 1920s. They were super disillusioned with politics at the time, and so they decided to totally disengage. They filled this political void with things like Eastern philosophy, romanticism, nature mysticism, and paganism. They were super anti-science and especially super anti-modern medicine. Um, Some of them started like back to the land communes and others just sort of like lived a life on the road, sort of like a vagabond kind of lifestyle. But what really unified them was a search for a more authentic life in a time when German politics just felt like super fake and screwed up. They loved the countryside, they hated the cities and thought that the industrialization in the cities was sort of at the core of what was wrong with everything. As you can imagine, this sort of like hatred for industrialization, finance, capitalism, cities, all that sort of stuff, pretty quickly became kind of like rampant anti-Semitism. They loved hiking, they loved mountaineering, they loved rock climbing. And in fact, the film genre Berg film, which is basically just mountain film or like films like Free Solo and The Alpinist today, came out of this period too. They were all super obsessed with things like health and wellness, which they saw as a better pursuit in life when compared to the sort of like urban power focused rat race of capitalism. They all worship nature, but eventually over time, this nature worship transformed into Hitler worship. Um, And they pretty quickly all became early supporters of the Nazi party. We can think of this like nature or purity to Hitler worship transition as sort of like a translocation of personal politics onto national politics. And we know that Hitler and the Nazis really seized on this and preyed on these people Uh, their anxieties around personal and national purity. Um, A lot of Nazi propaganda was focused on ideas of like rebirth and renewal. And um, the rest is history. And we see these sorts of things today too, right? Like the health and wellness culture, the way that they capitalize on personal purity. And we see the sort of building of the pipeline from health and wellness, yoga, crystal people, new age culture to far right politics. Like with this guy here who was formerly obsessed with ayahuasca retreats and before he knew it was inside of the Capitol building on January 6th. 